Hello there, my name is David Reardon, I'm the CEO of the Public Education Foundation and today I'm very honoured and privileged to be introducing Jane Caro to you all. Jane Caro is one of Australia's leading supporters of public education. She's an award winning journalist and a social commentator and today she's talking to us about the voice referendum which is being held on the 14th of October. I'd like to say thank you to Jane and thank you to all of you for listening and I hope you enjoy the interview. Thank you. Hello, I'm Jane Caro and I'm a board director of the Public Education Foundation uh, position I'm very honoured to hold uh, and it's in that capacity that I'm speaking to you today as a supporter of the Yes campaign. Um, I think, you know, it's really important that the Yes gets up for all sorts of reasons, but not least because of the impact it will have on public education in Australia. Public schools overwhelmingly educate Indigenous kids. Over 80 odd percent, I think, of Indigenous uh, kids go to public schools. So to have a voice to Parliament, a constitutionally recognised voice to Parliament by Indigenous Australians is incredibly important in terms of helping schools to understand firsthand what those communities want from a schooling system and how public schools can help Indigenous people to close the gap between educational outcomes for Indigenous Australians and all the rest of us. So I think it's vital for public education because of public education's very special relationship with Indigenous kids, their families and communities, and the particular responsibility that public education the only system that is expected to shoulder the responsibility for compulsory education for all children and also a responsibility to make sure that all children get as equal as possible outcomes. Well, um, the Public Education Foundation, for these very reasons, has um, issued a statement supporting the YES campaign and there are so many reasons that I think Australians should write YES on October the 14th on their ballot paper. Um, Many of them are, uh, uh, you know, just about closing the gaps between um, Indigenous Australian outcomes and the rest of us. Um, on any statistic you care to name, Indigenous Australians are not doing as well as they should be. Um, and that's on us. We need to do something about that. And one of the ways we can is to stop telling Indigenous Australians what to do, shut up for a change and listen listen and that's what the voice is for and it's there so that we can't just new government comes in whole lot of programs are up and running from the old government oh no but they weren't invented here so even if they're working let's get rid of them and put a whole lot of new programs up we see this happen in education a lot as well um, and it dashes hopes it actually makes people cynical about engaging with programs that are meant to to make a difference so we need to stop doing that and that's why it needs to be in the Constitution and why we need to listen to the people who know best <laughs> how, uh, what the barriers are and how things can be made different in things like educational opportunity, of course, and outcomes, but also things like infant mortality, for goodness sake, and rate of incarceration and life expectancy, all of which are appalling in comparison to um, other Australians. This has to change. It's been going on too long. And more of the same will get us more of the same. And that isn't going to work for anyone. My advice to people who are not sure how to vote is, first of all, get educated. Go and have a look at both cases. But think hard about what it, what it means to be generous of spirit and what it means to be the opposite. And a yes vote is a generous spirited vote it's also a vote that appeals to the better side of this country, to the angels of um, Australian character, the desire to help, to reach out, and the recognition that this land belonged to Indigenous people and had done so for over 60,000 years. We came in and in only a couple of centuries, we have really wreaked havoc on the environment and many other ways, certainly, but also on um, the lives and um, expectations of Indigenous Australians. Now, 
Australia has some marvellous things that it's done as well. I'm not saying it's all havoc. But in terms of people of Indigenous heritage, it's been a rough ride by and large. Time to change that. If we wake up on the 15th of October and find out that the yes vote has um, won, I think we can pat ourselves on the back and be proud as a country of that result. Um, but I think for the average, for me and people like me, it won't really make much difference at all to our lives. That's not the point of it. It's not meant to make a difference to our lives. It's meant to make a difference to Indigenous Australians' lives. And I think if we start to listen to them and what they have to say about what's going to work better for them, I think it could make a huge difference uh, for Indigenous people and certainly 80% of Indigenous people appear to agree. I mean, we already have worked out that by listening to Indigenous people about, for example, cool burns in winter months, we can in fact do something to mitigate the terrifying fires that climate change is visiting upon us. Um, I do think that a yes win will start to help improving educational outcomes for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students. I think it will for a number of reasons, because we'll listen, because we'll hear from their parents, from their communities more directly, straight to the government, federal education ministers, etc., etc. But also because the mere fact that Australia says yes to a voice a constitutional recognition and a voice to parliament which speaks about what is happening to Indigenous Australians is in itself a booster, a morale booster, a new spirit, a new way for Aboriginal children to look at the world and think, is there a place for me here? Am I accepted wholeheartedly in the way that um, every child deserves to be accepted? in um, the country in which they live. And I think a yes vote does that for kids. It says to them, we welcome you wholeheartedly. We know you have wisdom to offer and things you can teach us.